Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic. And I'm Trent. And this is our Rule of Five setup guide. Uh, this setup is not very good against a two turn. I would not recommend probably ever using it if your opponent only has two turns to score. However, it is very good at punishing early breaks. Like if, if your opponent's got five turns or, or more to score, then this is pretty good. It, it can react very well. It's got five really fast players. Well, usually fast players. You know, even if you're orcs, you would still have your four blitzers back here. You, you want fast reactive players here. You do give up the sides, but if they, if they push too early, you can shut them down quite easily because they can all swing over to, to either side. So you've got a lot of reactiveness here. You've got your three worst players on the line of scrimmage, um, almost exclusively. If they're not going to be your three worst players, you probably shouldn't be using Rule of Five because the point of the Rule of Five is to keep your five best players back here. Um, you do have a screen here, so like two squares in between. So these three players are usually going to be you know, these three are your worst, these three are your second three worst, and then your five best are here. Um, your sixth best you want to tend to put here because he's got a bit of cover from the line of scrimmage, protecting a little bit. Um, also, you've got the option of the offset LOS. Um, if you put them offset to either side, if you get a perfect defense, they could then be moved to the other side to not get punched. It's not very good at reacting to a blitz, however. Although it's good to reacting to pushes, it's not good at reacting to a blitz. If, if if I was to roll a blitz here and the ball was here, there can be some kind of you know punch here, but I'm not going to get a lot there. Whereas if it was a wide setup, there would be loads of pressure on it with a blitz. So, yeah, that's pretty much the rule of five, like the principles of the rule of five defense, I guess. Yeah. So, as you were saying with the with the two or with the rule of five with the two turn, that's kind of. It's really easy for me to drop these two catchers back on both sides to just get scoring threats to, you know, I might not score at the end of the two turns, but I can at least make the chance that I'll score the best I can make it. Um, yeah. I accidentally did switch my blitzers there. I meant to put a lineman on Oof. the line of scrimmage, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no problem. We'll just we'll ignore that. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna gonna wrap around and probably try and force the right hand side. I think is what I want to go for here. Um, so I'm just trying to keep track of where I can even get the ball. A good trick I picked up from you actually was dropping the thrower above where I kind of want to get the ball to, to still use him as a screen. Yeah. Yeah, that can be pretty cool. You generally want to move like the furthest players as far as they can get, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely try. I don't always succeed, but <laughs> sometimes it's all good. Yeah. Would you just take this? You would just choose a side, wouldn't you? Uh, yes, I would probably have just this catcher on one side, uh, or probably just the other catcher on one side, and then I would try to probably go really hard down one side. Um, yeah, so like personally, these two these two players here, I would have had on the other side to try and to try and reinforce and and get down there. Oh, but I mean, yeah. that's this... what I'm realizing now. <laughs> I'm getting them over. Yeah. I see your point. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you know it's not it's not terrible, but um, but yeah, that, that's the thing with this this defense. It, it is completely completely letting you go down the sidelines. Um, I may mess this up. Is a <laughs> is a throw with throw and catch the same as just a handoff? The handoff is an automatically accurate pass. So if you pass, there is a one in nine chance it will fail. So it's definitely better to hand off if you can. But yeah, then you will make the screen here if you do it. But I, I would just hand off. It's I think it's definitely yeah, too I guess risky. It doesn't, yeah, I guess it doesn't make... Since I dropped that other blitzer in, it's not that important, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I would say so.
I'm trying to be mindful of your tackle piece <laughs> coming around. Uh, to Yes, yeah, so when you do the rule five, you definitely want your most reactive, like, blitzers in the cent in the center, so I could have even had him further back as well to, like, make for a better angle. Um, where these five are positioned doesn't really matter, you you know, and if you're down players, uh, as long as you have these six, you could have four players here and still, like, the rule of five, right? And you could have them b further back, more central, like, it doesn't really matter what the actual formation is, as long as they're not getting killed. That's the main point of the rule of five. Yeah, like this guy, yeah, this poor sap. But that's the thing, you're exposing the linemen. You don't care about those. Yeah, that's one of the good things about having somebody over that side. Um, yeah, because that come back. should... I guess that doesn't really stop you. Never mind. <laughs> no, it gets in the way a tiny bit. Like, it's, it's not terrible. It's almost good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's doing something. Like, I've still got to, you know... Put something on them. So yeah, this is just two GFIs to hit him. He probably should have been one back, so I would have had to dodge as well. Uh, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So yeah, you would have needed a GFI if you were one square further back. Also, maybe this should have been a blitzer and one square further forward as well, I would say. So you could have made, like, those two changes would have made this a lot stronger. Um, but... Like, it's st like you know, it's still not easy because all I have is the reaction to it. I, I couldn't stop them getting down there at all. Like, there's no way I could stop. You know, you could have had, like, so many players, couldn't you? You could have had, like, eight players in, in the wide zones, and I just literally can't stop it. Mm -hmm. So, oh, my God, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to do this. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what that was. All right, so I guess I'll just move him first so that there's something... Something there in case the GFIs fail. And I think hit him from this angle is better to keep him in amongst all of these guys. So I've got all my guard there, haven't I? Because again, it's all the best players with rule of five. Yep. Get him down thanks to the tackle. Yeah, that's pretty uh, decent. That's not a great scatter for me. <laughs> it's not the best, is it? No, that is that is nope. going to be tricky. <laughs> and I can just try and uh, tag off one of your reactive players. Yeah, not not a bad turn. So that, that that's the thing. Like it, this is the weakest state of the the weakest time to use rule of five. You know, because both wide zones completely exposed but the reaction is amazing like it is better with faster teams it, it's not a great it's not a great defense to use with slow teams but even even then like if you have a wider formation the slow teams can react even less as well right so like obviously defense is always better if you've got faster players um so you'll see people like in chevrons well if they've got a, an orc over here he can't do anything on the other side so so if once you pick a side against chevrons then Eight players aren't going to be great at reacting anyway. Whereas this gets, you know, everybody able to react in some way. The problem is they have to react, not defend, basically. Yeah, I think you uh, may have stopped this drive, but, you know, that's not going to stop me. I'll, um, I might be able to pull something off here. Yeah. I still have the thrower, so yeah. I think I think there's a chance. Yeah, you've still got the mighty blow tackle that can blitz, and you you know you could get lucky with dice rolls. <laughs> yeah. there's, uh, there's certainly chances. I don't know if it's worth it to scatter it. It's probably not, so I should hit it this way. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'll be honest. I'm not sure whether, whether the scatter is good or bad. Yeah, I mean... Four of the scatters are good. It has to be pow. Yeah, it probably does. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this would be tricky if, uh, if this was actually a two-turn at the end of the drive and I didn't have any rerolls and... Yep. Oh, and there you 
you go. Yeah. And there we go. I mean, that was really tough, wasn't it? That was that was that was pretty well shut down there with the uh, with the catcher being so far forward and, and unprotected. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, you can't rely on that with the uh, with the rule of five. But you know, at least it was it showed the like if this was a full drive. It it it's reacted perfectly, hasn't it? The these are one on one. This is one on one, and that they're basically parallel to where the offense is. That it is good at reacting, but yeah, you know, with maybe some maybe it's with a bit better play, the the, the two turn would have happened. <laughs> if the rules were switched. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe would have been able to score. <laughs> maybe, yeah. There you go. It was, I think it's still a good video, though. It was a good, good. You know, there were things happened there, weren't there? So. Yeah, yeah. I I think it showed the reactiveness of the rule of five for sure. So. So there you go. That was the rule of five defensive setup guide. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. <laughs>